Shinobi is one of Sega's most loved franchises and has you taking on the role of a deadly ninja trying to take out a high profile terrorist group. Set across five side scrolling missions you have to take out enemies and rescue hostages in order to gain power ups before fighting a boss character at the end of the stage. As well as the standard side scrolling action our hero can leap up and down levels of the playing area, something that becomes increasingly important as you progress. Rescuing hostages gives the player better weapons as well as increased life and unlocks a bonus stage which has you throwing shurikens at ever advancing ninjas. Graphically, Shinobi is small but well defined. Enemies are varied and boss characters are large and well animated, often taking up around half the screen. Slowdown is hardly ever apparent, and though there is a touch of flickering at times, this is normally due to the large amount of characters on screen at one time. Though Shinobi may appear to be a fairly standard title, the mixture of tactical screen jumping to try and get the hostages and more standard action help create a truly memorable game. Controls are responsive, with the only small problem being sometimes turning on the spot. The power-up system is inspired with a wide range of projectile and hand weapons to be gained and the impressive bonus level always worth hunting out the last few captives for. The learning curve is set about right, with difficulty increasing in bearable steps the further in you get. Each time you play it's likely you'll progress a little bit more and you'll find yourself pressing on to see the next section which is the hallmark of a classic game. The easiest way to pick up Shinobi these days is probably in one of the Sega Mega Drive collections which contains an arcade perfect port.